What is up guys, Joe Snow right here. So today we're going to review the application called Dr. Phone for iOS from Wondershare. We're going to see what this application can do, how it will impact the life of your device if you get it, and what can it do. So right, we're going to see how you can use it and if it has any benefits on getting it. Right, so this review is 100% a uh, honest review, so expect to get everything that's good and that's not good about the app. Right, so we have this application right here. This application comes in both a free version and a paid version. Here I have the full version so that I'd be able to test it. And um, apparently this is a, an application created for data recovery mostly. But you can also, um, do uh, recover from iCloud backup or backup your device right now or even to record your screen, which seems to be pretty cool. And uh, if you navigate here on the website of the creators, the Wondershare, if you don't know, Wondershare are the guys behind Filmora. Filmora is one of the um, tools we even using right here inside the studio sometimes when we um, we edit the videos. So it is pretty cool company. They create great software. So it says that the iOS 10 is compatible with this device and it has 2,573 reviews, which you can read if you want. As I said, it has a free trial if you want to test it for both Windows and Mac. And they also have an App Store application. Right. Let's go to test out this application, All right? As I said, I am registered inside the application so that I can um, I can test the app compatibility and so on. So I'm going to start by testing the uh, connectivity with the iOS 10.1.1 devices because as they claim, th this application is compatible. Let's see. Right, so I connected an iPhone 5S because that's what I have right here, uh, right now. And it seems to be connecting with no problem. It seems to be uh, responding, no hangs. During our tests, the application worked pretty cool. There were no problems. So as you can see, I am able to scan for lost files and so on. I'm going to hit the uh, scan button to see what it can uh, detect. And meanwhile, I'm going to uh, go to their website to show you what they claim to do. And we're going to also test if it really does this. Right, so um, it claims to be able to recover files that were uh, lost due to deletion, system crashes, forgotten password, viruses, damage, or stolen device, or other scenarios. For example, data lost after factory restore, data lost after um, iOS updates, or device stuck and not responding, data missing after jailbreak or room flashing, device locked or forgot password, and unable to synchronize backup. So. If you don't know, they also have an application for Android. That's why they uh, in also in included the room. Right, so uh, complete iOS compatibility. It says it's compatible from what I can see, starting from iPhone 4 to even iPhone 7 Plus. So it's even compatible with the latest iPhone right here. Pretty cool. Right, it's, it seems to be compatible with all iPads and only with the fifth and fourth generation of iPod Touch. So no sixth generation, that's a downfall. Right, let's see what kind of files can it recover. It says contacts, photos, WhatsApp messages, Safari bookmark, messages, normal messages from the device, video, Facebook messenger, app photos, call history, calendar, voice memos, uh, apps video, notes, reminder, voicemail, and app documents. Right, so it seems to be um, able to recover most of the iOS files. And let's see what we need to have in order to be able to run this app. Well, it seems to be compatible with all Windows versions, at least all that matter. It seems to be compatible with the latest version of Mac OS X and also with the um, 10.6 being the oldest compatible. And you need at least one gigahertz of um, CPU and at least 256 megabit of RAM. Right, so the application is highly compatible with most of the computers from what I can see here. So as you can see, it managed to detect a couple of things in here. Let me check out what. This iPhone wasn't really used a lot, but as you can see, it has a call history. It detected my Safari bookmarks, reminders, the calendars, and it's still scanning. 
All right, so for this particular device, this is what it managed to detect, including a couple of documents and a couple of photos from either uh, the uh, Safari right here or from the uh, applications, games and so on. So yes, for this application, it managed to, uh, to get a couple of the uh, important files. Great, I'm okay with this. Right, let's move to the, um, to the toolbox, right? Okay, we're able to also recover iTunes backup files. So if you have an iTunes backup, you probably know iTunes make them in a format that you cannot simply browse them. But this application offers you the free alternative so that you can open the backup and see, right? Or you can connect to your uh, iCloud backup file and get right here uh, whatever you need. They um, claim that they're not saving anything, so you can freely log in into your uh, iCloud without any problem. Great. I want to test something that I, I uh, saw and I liked about this application, being it the ability to record the screen on iOS 10.1.1. Uh, this is extremely great and I want to test if it lags. I also uh, tested on Windows a couple of applications, for example iTools 3, but it wasn't on real time, so uh, it had a lag. I want to test to see if this works properly, if this works smooth. Right, so I'm going to start the app. And it says uh, swipe from the bottom of any page. Oh right, it, uh, it asks me to go here into the uh, Airplay mirroring. All right, I'm going to click. Looking for Apple TV, it says for me. All right, so I was able to find an Apple TV called Dr. Phone FC365 PC. All right, so this application emulates a TV. God damn it, it's real time. Well, this is cool. I like this. So it seems to be real time which I definitely like about this application. It's compared with all other applications on Windows. This is the only app I can find to be able to record my screen in real time. And this is because it uses the actual um, AirPlay mode from here. Right, so I can disconnect and there we go. Right, so at this point it works very great. What else can this application do? It can create a backup of my uh, files. I'm going to make a backup to see if it works. The iPhone uh, got locked in the lock screen right now, but apparently it wasn't disconnected. So the application seems to be communicating with the device with no problems. As I said, Wondershare is one of the companies you can put your trust in. Uh, they really do have a couple of things that I like, including the fact that their applications are always very stable. Right, so it's finished. I'm going to export the PC. Oh, yeah, it asks me if I want to export. I'm going to select everything that applies. Uh, export all the files. Right. All right, so you get access to everything in folder style format. This is pretty cool. Right, so I'm going to go back. And what else this application of yours? Right, so here on the uh, toolbox, it also offers the ability to recover or backup your WhatsApp details or to fully erase everything from the device. If you have, I don't know, if you have some information you don't want anybody to see, you can remove everything from here. So you can see from here, full data removal or private data removal, for example, passwords and so on. Right, but what I uh, also liked about this application is the support. Uh, the uh, website or their website, their support center is extremely well structured. If you go right here, you get what you want. For example, I'm going to go here. I have a technical uh, question about Wondershare Doctor Phone for iOS. And you have a couple of pre-configured questions that are probably uh, very uh, often asked. And if it's the, uh, the case, you're going to get help. If it's not, you're going to be able to contact them um, right away. So this is pretty good. They also offer support for the license, for example, if the uh, license is not working and so on. So this is what I, uh, this is what I liked about their product. They offer the, um, 
the support that you need. So you always get to um, to fix your problem if you have, if you ever have one. Right, so uh, yeah, this is basically about it, about this application. You can download a free trial or you can buy it from the description. Again, Wondershare Dr. Phone for iOS. If you ask me, it's a uh, must have application for your device. If you're, I don't know, if you're an iDevice user and it has a couple of features that I personally use. For example, the backup and the recovery function because everybody probably removed at some point something they uh, shouldn't remove and they uh, wanted it back. And this application, it's working in this area. But I also liked, of course, uh, the uh, screen recorder that works pretty smooth on Windows. So this is it, guys. Do not forget to subscribe and stay updated. If you want to see more reviews, you can go ahead in the description. I have a playlist with more reviews for more products. So definitely check out Wondershare Dr. Phone for iOS in the description. Until the next time, peace out.